Most people who care about digital privacy tend to avoid big companies like Microsoft and Google. These companies don't respect your privacy. They collect your data, sell it, or use it for targeted ads. The more of their services you use, the more precise these ads become. Take Google, for example. If you use Gmail, Chrome, Google Search, Google Contacts, and Google Messages, Google knows almost everything about you. But thankfully, there have always been open source alternatives that promise privacy and transparency. One of the most important of these was Firefox. Launched over 20 years ago, Firefox was an open source browser that made a clear promise. We don't sell your data. You could find this statement on their homepage, GitHub, and marketing materials. Mozilla, the company behind Firefox, was proud of this commitment. But unfortunately, this has changed. For years, Firefox didn't even have a user agreement. Yes, that long document most people ignore and just click accept. Mozilla never needed one. They were transparent. Firefox is free, open source, and respects your privacy. But recently, Mozilla introduced a user agreement, and at the same time, they quietly removed the phrase, we don't sell your data from their website, GitHub, and even the new agreement itself. This raised serious concerns among privacy-conscious users. The internet quickly reacted. Forums, blogs, and social media exploded with discussions about what this means. Even those who weren't heavily into privacy started questioning Mozilla's intentions. For me, this is a deal breaker. I already left Windows because Microsoft doesn't respect user privacy. I stopped using Chrome years ago for the same reason. I switched to Firefox because it was different, because it stood for something. But now, Mozilla seems to be following the same path as Google, introducing vague policies that give them more control over user data. And here's the real problem. Firefox is the only real alternative to Chromium. If you don't know, Chromium is an open source browser engine developed by Google. Chrome is built on it, and so are over 90% of all browsers, including Brave, Opera, and even Microsoft Edge. Google already has too much power over the web, and if Firefox disappears or becomes untrustworthy, Google's control over the internet will be absolute. So what's the solution? For privacy-conscious users, there are only two real choices. Brave, but it's still based on Chromium, meaning Google benefits indirectly. Firefox-based browser, which removes all Mozilla's tracking and privacy concerns. The best Firefox-based alternatives are LibreWolf, the most popular option with privacy-focused settings by default, Waterfox, similar to LibreWolf but more customizable, Florpus, highly customizable with workspace features, Zen, offers vertical tabs and additional UI enhancements, any of these will give you the power of Firefox without Mozilla's privacy risks. Personally, I'm switching to LibreWolf. I've used it before. It comes with uBlock Origin pre-installed and it has the strongest privacy settings by default. However, if you're trying any of these browsers, make sure to tweak your settings. For example, LibreWolf clears cookies and history every time you close the browser by default, which some might find inconvenient. Also, if you're on Arch Linux, install the binary package to avoid waiting hours for it to compile. At the end of the day, switching browsers isn't difficult. If you care about privacy, now is the time to leave Firefox. And if you're still using Chrome, this is your chance to move to at least Brave, or even better, a Firefox-based alternative. Let me know in the comments what browser you use and why. And thanks for watching.